So I've got here Master Bat Maker Rob Pack, um, based up in Earthingborough at Rob Pack Cricket. I've got one of his bats here, and then I've got a Grey Nickel Select uh, bat over here. Um, both my bats, uh, I've used them both in matches, so I've got a really good feel for them. Um, came in about the same price. So this Rob Pack bat came in at uh, 250 pounds. Um, his top grade of willow, I think, was 350. I actually bought this one because I think it tested as well as any of the bats in the shop. I uh, had a few little blemishes. I can just come and show you a few little blemishes in it. So it's not sold as perfect willow, to be honest. I'm not that bothered about that in terms of performance. I just want the bat that performs the very best. And then we've got the Grey Nickel Select. Again, a few blemishes on it. Um, blemish across here, some blemishes here. Um, so they actually came in at a very similar price. This retails at 224.99, I think, this year from Grey Nichols. Um, plus, I spent 30 pounds actually at Rob Pack Cricket, getting it knocked in um, to the best standard. So that came in just over 250 pounds all in. And this one, as I said, was 250 pounds. Um, all knocked in, all ready to go. So comparing similar prices of bat, I think with the, if I take the Rob Pack Cricket bat first, I think it's got a beautiful face. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pretty straight grains, um, lovely rounded edges. It's a two pound eight bat, or two pound eight and a half actually. Loads of wood in it there. And the sweet spot is just below the middle. It's just around here, but feels pretty good throughout. If I take the select, it had a slightly flatter, or has a flatter face, um, and it was a little bit susceptible to cracking. Um, I had it repressed, which helped it a little bit. Still a lot of wood in it. It's, it's slightly heavier than the Rob Pack bat, but not much, two pounds nine. Um, short handle like the Rob Pack bat and a decent bat. So if we have a look at how they perform, firstly in terms of pickup, well if I take the Rob Pack bat, lovely light pickup, beautiful pickup, feels really good in the hands, uh, semi-oval shape handle, um, just feels really good there. If you're driving, feels lovely here. Just doesn't feel like it has much weight in it, so wrists can work really nicely around the ball. Um, really nice feel to that bat. I've got to say the Select is a nice bat again. Feels slightly heavier in the pickup. Slightly heavier. And slightly heavier through here. It is a slightly heavier bat. Um, the weighting feels a little bit more endy, I'd say. Just feels a little bit heavier in the end, but still a decent pickup. So, if the bats take the bounce test, I've got the Rob Pack Cricket bat here. Lovely ping off it. Really good in the middle there. Not bad low in the bat, obviously at the toe, no bat's got very much, but lovely from here through to here, just a lovely feel off it. Really feels like it goes. And when you're testing it out, just feels like it zings. There, just feels like it zings off the bat. If I take the grey nickel select bat there. You can feel the difference. It sounds a bit softer to me. And the ball does go, especially off the middle, but it does feel deader. It feels softer and deader, certainly down low, feels a bit softer. That, that one came out of the middle, and that really came out of the screws. Lovely. If 
again pretty low down on the bat and getting absolutely loads out of it that's the rod pack cricket bat just gives you loads out of it and the sound it's absolutely beautiful coming off the bat it's off the middle of the bat and it went okay that was right off the middle of the bat and that did go that felt really nice slightly lower down the bat and again I didn't feel I got the interest from that from that ball that one was right off the middle and that really did go I mean that felt absolutely great the two before didn't I they were okay they would have gone for a boundary but didn't feel like I got a real zing out of them so for me the select is a decent bat certainly in the middle and when I say the middle I mean pretty much the middle there around here it feels like it goes um, but it's got other spots that are a bit deader the rod pack cricket bat feels like it's got more in the bat throughout it feels like it's got more zing so for me this is the superior bat, the Rob Pack Cricket Bat. This Grey Nickel Select is a decent bat, um, nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't give me full confidence that wherever I hit it, I'm going to get a return on that hit. Whereas this bat, having used it a couple of times in the middle as well, it really goes.